Uh-oh, did Phil Spencer just add another flip-flop to his repertoire? This time in regards to frames over resolution? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy. MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal. Y'all know it. Y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. I normally don't do this because I don't want people to get the impression that I'm trying to ridicule them or make fun of them or slight what they have to say. All opinions matter. And I'm not like a lot of these big wig entities that want to be the tell all be all of everything and you follow me or else, you know what I'm saying? They want to shut you down. I love diversity of thought. I love when we do that as a community and all voices matter even some of the bombastic ones to the calm ones would sound like they playing clarinet the elevator music all of them are key because that helps give these gaming companies a diverse understanding and a look from 5,000 feet on what the representation of the gaming community is so don't ever mistake me as somebody that's trying to shut down your argument what i am though is somebody that if you're going to come with a counter narrative to what i'm saying you better have done your own work <laughs> you know what i'm saying you hey look because when i post something on twitter or social media i've learned you better have done your homework and you better have your artillery on deck so do not come up here with a pea shooter <laughs> with a cap gun you know what i'm saying because you're gonna get you're gonna get sauteed and filleted with rounds out here, man. This game of streets is serious. It's like chess out here, man. Y'all got to be several steps ahead. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It keeps people honest before they just come out here and start bloviating. Now, game of streets is full of people that just like to caveat narratives to fit their own beliefs. But if you stay true to just finding facts, you can always, you know what I'm saying, leave them with the, as we say, with the hat on their sleeve. Now, what am I talking about? Now, again, I'm not doing this to ridicule anybody but just to showcase to you on why i feel the way i feel about phil <laughs> say that fast five times the way i feel about phil is for a certain reason okay and i don't want y'all to take that the wrong way i'm married no thank you with that being said i want y'all look at this tweet right here my homie Metal Gaming. y'all ain't down with Metal Gaming following man he's a pony out the stables you know what I'm saying? He's, he don't be playing with these bots out here, right? So he retweeted something from my, uh, another homie of mine, Mr. Kima. I know Mr. Kima don't really follow the boy all like that no more. I don't feel no way about it, but it's okay. He followed Dirk Griggity. He's a big Dirk Griggity supporter, and I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because Dirk Griggity got great content out there. So what Mr. Kima did is he was trying to retweet. Well, he did retweet, really, but... He was, what he was trying to emphasize on is the fact that Phil Spencer is focusing heavy on frames. Okay. So since this article has dropped recently, there's been a focus on the internet about this being a supposed flip-flop because in 2017, Phil Spencer got an article, right? Where he says that basically, or, or he's arguing with an interviewer because it seems like that he's more focused on resolution than he is frames and so mr kima in 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 the spirit of that supposed flip-flop retweets what mr kima posted and says phil flip-flop spencer you know what i'm saying now my homie eric shockley now eric shockley is of an xbox central podcast called txr check them out you know what i'm saying into the xbox thing you know check them out all right um he responds to Metal Gaming and he says it doesn't seem like it. You know what I'm saying? And he got these little scripts up here of what Phil Spencer says in regards to frame rate in 2014 and then the 2020 article that's floating around now. Here's the problem. Out on social media, people have Twitter fingers. They don't have due diligence pupils. And what do I mean by that? People are so quick to react and as soon as somebody put out a tweet, I'm gonna hit you with, with the other tweet. You know what I'm saying? Like we playing Uno or something like that. Sometimes you just gotta savor it like fine wine and do your due diligence. So I had implored my homie Eric Shockley to read the article to 2014 that you're trying to post as evidence. Phil Spencer in 2014 is talking solely in regards to the 1080p narrative. 
His argument in 2014 is our frames are the same as PlayStation 4. So that's all that matters. Not as the same context that is leading in frame performance like he's talking now. It's a flip-flop, bruh. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is that when the ponies are now laser focused on what he said in 2017, opposed to what he's saying now, they're saying that Phil tried to put emphasis on resolution in 2017 when he was being questioned about frames. Now he's flip-flopped back to frames. What my homie Shockley's trying to do is say, no, nah, he's always been about frame performance. But uh-uh. His issue on frame performance was only to damage control the fact that they couldn't ruck with Sony on resolution. But as soon as they felt like they could ruck with Sony in resolution, he focuses on resolution. But now, because he wants to suit another narrative on frames, and I'm going to talk about that, put a placeholder on that, on why he's doing that. There's a reason. There's a method to his madness. But now that he want to focus on frames, it's not like resolution was just the red-headed stepchild. You know what I'm saying? Um, now Eric responds and he says, Frame rate, he quotes him, frame rate, he, th he think he got your boy. You know what I'm saying? Look, you gotta be three moves ahead, man. He, th he think he got checkmate. Frame rate is, is significantly more important to gameplay. He's quoting Phil Spencer, but I I'm about to take his rule. So I says, Bruh, read and you'll see the flip flop, which he's prone to. I had a little spelling fit here. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it what he's prone to do to fit the current narrative. 2014, frame rate is important because we can't bang with Sony on Raz. Here's an example of that. He purely says in that article, frame rate to me is, is more significantly is significantly more important to gameplay the resolution and the mix of those which brings the right art style and freedom, whether it's on PlayStation or, or our platform. So he's saying, if you read the whole article, Right, I'm going to go to the article right here. If you read the whole article, what he's basically saying is, even though we don't have the 1080p, we got the 60. And in his mind, he equates, Spencer sees, now nah, they're, they're talking about, okay, let me read this whole article, uh, paragraph. We went to cite Sony's PlayStation 4 exclusive, the Order 1886, which renders at 1920-1800 resolution to give it a cinematic feel. Spencer sees this as an example of artistic freedom. <laughs> so he's looking at resolutions more as an artistic freedom. To him, in 2014, it's about frames and damage control and the fact that they can't do the resolution. So if Sony's sitting there doing all these different resolutions and all this other stuff, so what? That's just the little artistic thingy they got over here. We're about the performance. And because we can match the performance, that 1080p60 narrative is it never was. That's what he's saying there, all right? That's what he was saying originally there. But if you go to 2017, when he's arguing with your boy about frames, your boy in the interview says, what frustrates me is the only number that I do care about is, is the only one that you and Sony don't obsess over, which is 60 frames per second. Phil Spencer says, well, that's correct, but laughs. Why do you care about 60 frames per second? What? What here, 60 frames per second is tell all be all. But now he's like, why you care about 60 frames? So they're going back and forth. And then finally, homie is like, well, it's the only one in regards to frames per second that affects gameplay. And Spencer's like, well, Visuals affect gameplay too. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, stop it. Next. Now we're here in 2020. And in 2020, in the Survivor interview that's circulating about where Phil is focused on frames, Spencer says that he and the Xbox team are valuing higher, more consistent frames over just throwing pixels, more pixels on the screen. <laughs> but again, Back here, visuals affect gameplay too. But before that, frame frame rate is more significantly more important to gameplay. What, what which one is it? Is that not a flip flop? That's a flip flop, flippity flop, flop, flop. So in response to all this going back and forth, where again, let me illustrate it again. This is 2014. Because you can't work with Sony on a resolution. Okay, we got the frames. 
and 2017 when the Xbox One X is coming out and you can finally ruck with Sony on the on the resolution you can do better on the resolution you want to focus on resolution even though my man is bringing up frames well resolution you know um, is important too because my man is saying well what's up with the cost of 60 what's the point of me buying this $500 box if I'm not getting that cost of 60 before you told us it's about the frames so if you're giving us another $500 box how come I can't get them consistent 60 frames per second that is so valuable don't worry about them frames it's about the res and now in 2020 it's about it's more about the frames again than just throwing pixels on the screen so to all this flippity flop you get the Martin face. <laughs> you get the Martin face, Phil, Phil Spencer. See, here's the thing, y'all. Here's what y'all not, not realizing here. Okay. It's not that I hate Phil Spencer. That's such a strong word, and I don't like that. As somebody, though, that has 20-plus years in the Fortune 500 world, I just come from a culture where you have to show and prove all these excuses that you make, I wouldn't have lasted in my company for 20 months, let alone 20 years, if I was able to flip flop, not stay consistent, not make sure that things that I said were in flight actually came to fruition as much as Phil Spencer did. And Phil Spencer is making more money than I could ever imagine. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? So that's why I hold Phil the task. Again, as someone in the Fortune 500 world at a much lower level than Phil Spencer, I've never seen this level of unaccountability when it comes to the things that come out your mouth than I do here. And as a consumer, as someone that originally bought the box at 400 or 450, I'm sorry, at 450, then bought an S. You know what I'm saying? What was that? 400, three or 400, then buy the next and another 500. It's about time that the more staunch things that you say are coming to fruition, come to fruition. And that's why right now I'm at the point to where I'm saying, I don't trust what he says. You're not supposed to trust anything that any of these companies say just off the bat, but more likely than not, things that Phil Spencer talk about in flight do not land, okay? And because of that, you gotta show and prove, homie, all right? Put something in my hand. I need to see these frames. I need to see these frames in killer games. So, because I'm not sitting there drinking a Kool-Aid like a lot of y'all, because I've lost hope, again, 450, 400, 500. None of the core things that he said was coming to fruition came to fruition. Okay, and we got examples here once again that you say whatever you need to say to fit the narrative. That's not it, Jack. But there's a reason why homie is focused on the frames right now. And we've talked about this before. See, the thing is, is that everybody is applauding Sony because they say they have the killer applications. And we that are disgruntled that we're fans of the Xbox ecosystem or saying that that's what Xbox needs to do. They need to go back to the type of applications that were killer for their fan base. And the problem is, is that's not Microsoft's, I, I don't think that's their, their key focus right now. Their key focus isn't on Sony because they don't see Sony as their competitor. They've said it over a thousand times. I ain't got to beat down Sony in order for us to succeed. But every chance they get, there's another entity they talk about. And I think there's a reason why they're focused on frames because this entity actually has the frame argument over them right now. Who is that entity? I'll leave that for part two of this two-part series that I'm airing on my other platform. Check out the link below, and I'll see you over there. And with that being said, that's it from your boy, MM2K. Hey, yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always tell you, here's what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, you know what I'm saying, you can check out the links below to follow me. They'll lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Not Digital Culture, and the Stadia Dosage. And with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.